So we get a lot of questions daily on, hey, how do I know that my variable geometry turbo is bad? One of the easiest things to do is if you've got your actuator off, you can take this sector gear and just move it by hand. This sector gear should move quite a ways. Actually, there's a dimple in the housing here. That sector gear should run right down to that. And if I put the, the whole set guide on here, it should run from green mark to green mark, which lines up with that dimple. This particular one only moves about, I don't know, a third of the way. Uh, it's got some damage going on on the inside. We'll take it apart and see what's going on. This is just a center housing. Just to give you an idea, this thing will move from green mark to green mark effortlessly. So let's get this thing apart and see what's going on, what makes this turbo tick. All the working components of this turbo that, that make the VGT what it is are all gonna be on the exhaust side of the turbo. And when we pull this thing out, we'll flip it over here. That's, that's a completely assembled unit that now that we've got it off, it'll move from stop to stop. What was happening is inside the exhaust housing, you've got this shroud plate. And the shroud plate is what the fins actually travel through. If we take a look at this turbo here, this is the shroud plate. This shroud plate is actually inside the exhaust housing. And the fins travel through this shroud plate. This particular one, we can see it's had some damage to it. So if your shroud plate is all the way in like that and you get a bent fin here, that fin will not travel through that plate anymore. It'll hang up and it'll give you problems. So that's what's going on on a lot of these VGTs. You get carbon, you get debris, you get contamination from your EGR system, you get coolant contamination. There's a, there's a lot of reasons why. We've got service parts topics that come with all of our turbos to make sure that your turbo is gonna go on and it's gonna last.